circus is leaving town. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with a look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This is Good News Next Week for the week of January 16th, 2017. It is Inauguration Week, but it's not all bad news. That's why we focus on some of the good news and some of the ways that we are winning. Kind of a bittersweet story. I'm never really one to see things get memory hold, but after 146 years, the curtain is coming down on the greatest show on Earth. Owners of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus told the AP that the show will close forever in May. The iconic American spectacle was failed by a variety of factors, declining attendance combined with high operating costs along with public changing tastes and prolonged battles with animal rights groups all contributed to its demise. And even as I'm reading that, Frankie's reaching out here from the mixer to get into the show. I went to the circus as a little kid. It came to town. I rode around on the elephants. I remember it kind of being a bigger deal than I really wanted to do and too many people, and it was pretty loud and pretty stinky. But it is a pretty priceless... I don't know if that's the word. It's a part of culture, and it's a part of our background. So, in some ways, it is sad to see those certain things go away. Having said all that, it's a completely horrific, abusive thing that's broken up animals and broken up families and been pretty much a destructive thing. What did we see just a few days ago that even Blackfish, Tilikum, actually passed away? These are just part, I think, of the massive, massive changes that are happening all around, and it's happening within, and it's happening without. Some of the other stories that we're looking at, and I guess as long as we're talking about animals, warm beds for pups in Istanbul. Kind strangers create warm beds for Istanbul's street dogs during a blizzard. And from dogs to cats in California, it's a pretty happy video where a lost cat is reunited with their owner after like two years. Again, I say that as Frankie's here hiding out on the side of Good News Next Week. And as long as we're talking cute stuff, a dad added special effects to his kids like home movies and they're amazing it's the kind of thing that makes me wish i could make better videos elsewhere on good news next week and another dad but a very different kind of dad action paying his dmv tax bill with three hundred thousand pennies now this is kind of a convoluted story that involves virginian nick stafford and he was basically using foia requests to find out the actual phone numbers to the dmv and they were told you're not supposed to have this number this turned into an escalating thing, and there were fees, and at the end, he basically rolled in a bunch of wheelbarrows full of hundreds of thousands of pennies, and they had to count them all by hand, and this is what we kind of file under monkey-wrenching the New World Order. Doing anything that we can to pretty much stop the state in its tracks. Excellent video coming out of Seattle. The Hollingsworths, a family of former athletes, retired executives, and history-making trailblazers from Seattle, now in rural Mason County, they've begun a new chapter as cannabis farmers. So, people leaving sports to grow more weed? I like that. We include that on Good News next week. We hop across the pond to the Independent out of the UK. They're even noting the food pantry movement. Charitable food pantries are springing up in neighborhoods across the U.S. as a way of offering help to those in need. Yard-based pantries have been widely shared on social media in the past six months, and ventures have popped up in Oklahoma, Indiana, Kentucky, Florida, Minnesota. Maggie Ballard mounted her own Blessings Box on her Wichita Street last October after noticing similar projects online. Since then, its popularity has boomed, and with her son Paxton, she restocks the two-foot-wide unit every day with items donated by the local community. These are the sorts of things, again... These kind of stories, I imagine, in certain situations would turn into the town getting mad because you don't have a permit to put these things up, and I worry we might actually see that fight coming up very soon. However, like a lot of the things we talk about on Good News next week, just like the community fridges, they're viral. They're ideas. You cannot stop them at all, and the more people do it, the more unstoppable it is. Other amazing video out of New York where a former American ninja actually helps a dude choking on the side of the highway. It looks like dash cam footage of a fireman or cop beating up a black dude, but it's actually the Heimlich maneuver. Our one main serious story this week on your good news next week, Hungary plans to crack down on non-governmental organizations. That's right, NGOs linked to billionaire George Soros 
now that Trump will occupy the White House, this according to Deputy Head Prime Minister Viktor Orban's party. The European Union member will use all the tools at its disposal to sweep out NGOs funded by the Hungarian-born financier, which serve global capitalists and back political correctness over national governments. We also know they fund and foster divide-and-conquer protests that you're seeing build up all around this week. Do not take part in any of this divide-and-conquer violence. They want helter-skelter, and isn't it any surprise that's magically see Charles Manson pop in the news anytime this gets that heavy. So don't take part in any of that, and it's an interesting note, and we'll talk about this on the Friday episode, on Inauguration Day, on our Morning Monarchy, Paul Anka legendary singer songwriter is going to perform at trump's inauguration i've got some paul anka 45s you might remember him from the simpsons episode where the advertising comes to life to destroy the town he comes up with the jingle with lisa to say what is it just don't look it removes the power we're learning our way forward don't get bogged down in the violence and i know it's tough because it's everywhere Close down the Facebook accounts, close down the junk social media accounts, and start to build your own. Make your own shows, do your own stuff, write your own articles. It's so much more fun than arguing online about things. Looks like proof of life. Julian Assange is alive. Bitcoin block 447506. Looks good to me, and it actually goes over my head, and that's usually why I go to other people whose work and brains I respect to say, what do you think of this and what do you think of that, and ask people. Looks legit. It looks legit. As long as we're talking tech, a bill filed in the Oregon Senate would ban the use of stingrays to track the location of phones and sweep up electronic communications without a warrant in most situations. The proposed law would not only protect privacy, in Oregon, but it would also hinder one aspect of the federal surveillance state. Senator Tim Knopp, a Republican out in Bend, introduced Senate Bill 571, SB 571, on January 9th. The legislation would help block the use of cell site simulators, aka stingrays. Our last story, also out of Oregon, Portlandia to end in 2018. However, the damage done to the city will go on for many, many years. And that's just some of the ways that we are winning and looking at solutions-oriented stories. If you are on the tweets, you can always tweet hashtag good news next week. Some of the good news stories happen in, in your neck of the woods. And, of course, you can always reach out and leave stories in the comments below. Of course, here's where you say all the things about subscribe and blah, blah, blah. But we don't typically make things like that. We're a different kind of operation, and if you dig us, we hope that you will support us. We do an hour of news in the morning, an hour of music in the afternoon. That's Monday through Friday, and it's brought to you by you. MediaMonarchy.com slash support has PayPal, Patreon, Bitcoin, our post office box, and we appreciate it. This has been your good news next week for the week of January 16th, 2017. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.